Hi everyone, this is Teo from ParkerBlocks.com. It has been a while since I reviewed any fountain pens, so today I want to review another one. This is the Twisby VEC 700. This is the Twisby VEC 700 that I bought many years ago. I haven't been using this much, that's why I cleaned it and put it away. Let's compare that to the Lemmy Safari. So the Twisby VEC is a rather large fountain pen. This is the Twisby Diamond 530 and this is the Sailor fountain pen. So it's a la rather large pen. Let me open this up and compare it to the Lemmy Safari. They are almost the same length. However, the Twisby VEC it has a much larger body because the diameter is a bit bigger. So it feels a bit chunkier compared to the Lemmy Safari. Let's take a closer look at the cap. The cap is multifaceted. I hope I pronounced that correctly. So it's like a diamond with many little surfaces. This is the top and that is the logo. The clip is a matte surface. And this is the bottom, that's the brand. I actually had one cap where the this part here, it actually broke off. So I emailed Twist B and they sent me a replacement cap. So this is the replacement cap and that's why it looks so new. I was quite surprised when they sent the replacement cap to me free. When I searched online, I found out that other customers have the same problems as well but I think um, so far so good so I think maybe they improved the manufacturing process so this is the pen itself you can dismantle the pen into several different parts quite easily they also provide you with a tool like a spanner to remove some of the parts but for basic assembly using your own hands you can just do uh, things like this. If you want to remove the plunger, you need to use the spanner to basically unscrew this part. This part is very tight. So when you unscrew this part, you will be able to remove the plunger. So this is the screw thread. So this part can be unscrewed. This is a rather large nib. The one that I have is a fine. And this is how the fit looks like. It's very easy to assemble the nib and fit back into the grip section. Just make sure that it aligns properly and you can just push it in. So the nib, it actually extends out by quite a bit. So this is how it looks like when it's assembled. This part has to be tightened properly and tightly so that the ink doesn't come out. So this is how the whole fountain pen looks like. This part is the thickest and then it tapers slowly down to the bottom. The end cap is also multifaceted. You can unscrew this and pull the plunger back. Other than the fountain pen, I also want to show you an accessory. Now this ink bottle is made specially for this fountain pen. So it's a rather small ink bottle. Let me open it up to let you see. So it looks something like this. Now to refill this pen, you can either use a normal ink bottle or you can get this accessory which is sold separately. So you can just screw this into the ink bottle like this, make sure it's tight and you can use the plunger to suck the ink into 
this area here this is the fun part when the plunger is pushed down it creates a vacuum and once it reaches this point and the vacuum breaks the ink will come rushing into the ink reservoir it's a bit difficult for me to use this because I haven't been using this for a while make sure you tilt the bottle in such a way that the nib has access to the ink before you pull the plunger so I'm going to do that now so the ink will brush in you have to do a few times in order to fill the pan completely my vacuum probably has some leakage somewhere usually it would fill much faster but anyway I think this is pretty much filled now be careful when you take the pan out make sure you put the bottle in the proper position before you pull out the pan if not the ink is going to flow out this is quite convenient to travel with this is how it looks like when it's filled now this fountain pen has an extremely large capacity so you can use this for days or weeks without refilling and that I think is one of the highlights of this particular pen if you want to you can post the cap right at the back too but it's going to make the fountain pen even larger I usually use this fountain pen without the cap because it's quite large by itself it's quite nice to hold it feels a bit weird though compared to my other fountain pens mainly because of the design because this part here is thicker and it tapers down but overall I think it feels comfortable let's try and write something with the pen The nib has a nice tactile feeling on the paper. The ink flow is quite good. The lines are consistent. Now let's compare this fine nib with the Pelican M200 fine nib that I always use. This is the Pelican M200 both inks are noodleless bulletproof black ink so the fine nib on the m200 is a bit thicker and the lines are also darker as mentioned earlier one of the advantages of this fountain pen is the enormous ink capacity so whenever i bring this fountain pen overseas for drawing I don't have to refill it as often compared to my other fountain pens in fact when I bring this fountain pen overseas I usually do not bring extra ink supplies other fountain pens I would have to refill every few days but this I can use this for probably a week or two so I usually do not go on holidays for more than two weeks and this is definitely sufficient enough to last me two weeks no problem at all the lines they are very consistent very predictable the nib it feels smooth on the paper there is definitely some tactile feel to the nib I'm not sure why I do not use this fountain pen as often nowadays the reason probably is because I no longer find a vacuum refilling mechanism a novelty but make no mistake this is a very solid performer the build quality of this pen is very good the only issue that I have is with the cap which broke once on its own but since then I think 
I don't have any more problems or issues with this pen. So if you want a fountain pen with consistent lines, with a lot of ink capacity, I think this is one that you can consider. The body of this fountain pen is a bit too big for me though. Mainly because the diameter around this section is rather large. So you can actually use this pen by gripping the pen like this or you can hold it a bit further up like this. So this would give you a different feel when using the pen. This is a very easy pen to clean. First of all, it's easy to dismantle. Secondly, this plunger system allows you to continuously flush out the ink with water. So you can put a bottle of water there and put this into the water and just flush out the ink. So you just have to do it probably a few times and the pen is clean. So this is one of the easiest fountain pens to clean. One last thing I want to mention is I'm not sure if my pen has some problem with the rubber at the end of the plunger because earlier on while I tried to refill the pen I felt that the vacuum suction it wasn't quite right it doesn't feel right but anyway I still managed to get the pen refilled so I guess that's all it matters I'm not sure if the rubber whether or not it would deteriorate over time that's all for my review of this Twispy VEC 700. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section. If you want to check out my other fountain pen reviews, the playlist is in the video description right below this video. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.